We're in our herb bed that we've just established in what we call our formal gardens. And Alan's done a lot of hard work in designing the gardens, but we're also going to be planting in this herb bed one of Alan's favorites, and he's joining us today to talk about fall planting of garlic. Now, Alan, why is it that you like to grow garlic? What is it that intrigues you? Well, garlic is just a, a good flavor additive to a lot of things, even hamburgers. Even hamburgers, and it's easy to grow, too. Oh, it's super it? easy to grow, Steve. Well, now, there are various ways of planting in the fall. Now, first of all, why would we plant in the fall versus the spring? Well, in the spring, we have a shorter growing season between 90 and 100 days. In the fall, we have a full eight-month growing season because garlic is hardy during the winter. Okay. Show us the various uh, types of ways to plant garlic. Well, you can propagate garlic off of several ways. Seed head, if the garlic grazes seed head, there are certain varieties that doesn't. Now, that would be right up here on the right top, up on the of, top the of the plant. Okay. And then this is uh, a clove or a corm that was raised off of the seed that's called a first year bulb. And then here's one that's raised off of a clove and you can see how much bigger they do, do get. So what you did, you took one of the seeds to get this stage. To get this stage here. And then one of the cloves, cloves. which there's a group of them, to get you a larger corm or bulb. Okay. Bulb. So you're just gonna show the different stages in planting. Show us then how you would plant those and tell us about the spacing. Well, uh, on the seeds and or, or the cloves, you would break these apart and you'd insert them in here about an inch deep. Now, if you're planting elephant garlic, which we can get elephant garlic, you can plant them about uh, twice as deep, about two inches deep. And you want to double your spacing because they'll get bigger. So we're going an inch deep and our spacing in between seed is? Is about six inches. Okay. And then six inch row spacings. And then you just break these cloves apart. And again, just stick them in the ground about an inch deep and about six inch spacings. Okay. Now, of course, our soil test shows that we're doing pretty good. What, what kind of special needs would we have in fertility? Well, uh, garlic requires uh, a soil pH anywhere between 4.5 and, and 8. It has a wide range of growing in about any type of soil, but it requires some loose, uh, organic, sandy type soil like we have here. And then if our uh, soil requirements are about right, we just add compost. For over, to help overwinter and provide any extra nutrients that we might need. So you're just going to cover up the seed and cloves with the compost, really more of an insulation factor for mm -hmm. the winter more than anything. And then it'll provide food for the early spring growth. Okay, kind of a slow release nutrients. Mm -hmm. Now tell us about the variety that we're planting here, one that you're real pleased with. How did you find it? Well, we were uh, we like going around to different homesteads and, and looking what plant material they might have grown. And this is one that we found growing at an old homestead north of Stillwater here. And a friend had picked it up and he started growing it out his place. And he gave me a, a few clothes to start and we just uh, progressed from there. And it's a little bit taller uh, plant in it than yeah. most of the varieties. You know, here we have a, a plant that's about 36 inches tall or three feet. Most garlic gets anywhere between 12 and 24, mm -hmm. depending on, on the growing conditions. Right. And I think that's something we notice a lot of, Alan, is that there's all kinds that people have, but we never really know the specific variety because there's so many types. Like we've got a pinkish purplish one here that someone has given us, one that's pretty white color, not as big of uh, corm as yours, but good for drying. So again, there's all kinds of particular ones. Now, once they're planted, what are we looking at for harvest in next year? Well, you're looking about June's is typically harvest time for garlic. And you want to slack your water off uh, in June where they're not receiving any water. And the time that you want to quit watering is when the leaves uh, start turning uh, a yellow color. And then I guess we just let them dry and cure like onions would. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it sounds pretty easy, Alan. And oh, we appreciate easy. you sharing that with us. And We'll keep you informed on how the progress comes along, and that's also all the time we have today, and hope you'll come back and join us again next weekend here on Oklahoma Garden.